about a yard, and I question that call. When you've got Lionel Hampton, who made two yards on the play before going over the top, why risk a quarterback who has no momentum? He's right behind the center, and he has to step back before he gets started, and that's too late. Better call a timeout, I think, right here. Wayne Peace wants the timeout Thank you. to come to the sidelines to talk. So the Gators spend another timeout, and we'll be back. Florida trying to get one on the board. They're very deft. not going over the top. They're going to roll out. He stands up, throws for the corner. It's a bad pass. Did he catch it? My gosh, the kid caught it. Stinker Jackson came down with it. He threw it over the left shoulder, the trailing shoulder, and the kid made a marvelous catch. Spencer Jackson from Boca Raton. as good a catch as you'll ever see. I was going to say that to me. I don't think I've ever seen a more dramatic play than Spencer Jackson made looking over his left shoulder, falling down and making this catch. Where do you go back and look at it? He's looking over his right shoulder all the way. The pass is thrown on the other side. Looked like it was a bad pass. The kick by Danny was good. And the Florida Gators are on the board to lead Southern California 7 to nothing at 4 minutes and 52 seconds to play in the first half. Here's the play. Fans, look at this catch. It's a quick raise up pass. The ball is thrown right out the line. Watch what Spencer Jackson does. Keith's got it over, over his right shoulder. The ball is thrown over the left shoulder. He's got the turn and catch the ball. He cradles it in and it's a touchdown. And let's see it again on the isolation. Number 14, Johnson, uh, is trying to get, look at him over the right shoulder. Now he's got to turn and adjust, establish eye contact with that ball. Watch him turn his head, stretch his arms. Sensational. I don't know how you can explain it any other way. And 7-0 Florida lead. 